Smell expensive on a budget. I have eight fragrances under 50 pounds to share with you today. I'm beyond excited to talk about these because as much as I love my niche and luxury fragrances, it's also great to share with you some little affordable gems, which I 100% stand behind. These fragrances are incredible. They smell so luxurious and they smell so much more expensive than they are. Some of those I've repurchased over and over again and yeah, I can't wait to share them with you. Let's get straight into the video. I'm gonna start off with some Zara fragrances and in my opinion, these are the best ones to get from Zara and I'm gonna go straight in with my favorite one, which is Fashionably London. This is essentially a hybrid between Delina by Parfum de Marly and Scherzo by Miller-Harris. So two rose fragrances that are beautiful, quite mass appealing as well, but unique enough to have that little twist. And certainly Fashionably London has that twist. It's a intoxicating, musky rose fragrance that is feminine, it's sexy, it's great for date night. Honestly, guys, this perfume is so outstanding. If there was only one Zara fragrance I would recommend you get over the hundreds of Zara perfumes, Fashionably London would be the one that I would recommend 120%. It's also surprisingly long lasting. Now longevity isn't Zara's forte, but this one lasts all day on my skin, easy eight hours plus, which is great because it smells really, really lovely. Now actually, by the way, in today's video, I wanna highlight fragrances that are not dupes, of other perfumes because that would be a whole other separate video. I wanted to bring to you some great smelling fragrances that are affordable and that are also unique and not copies of anything else. And so the three Zara fragrances I have are not copies of famous or niche fragrances, which is great. Fashionably London is the first perfume. Next, we have a fresher scent. It is called Grapefruit and Incense. And this one is fantastic for very, very hot weather. Hot, humid weather where you cannot breathe, where you feel like you're suffocating. This is fabulous. When it was very hot last summer, I was wearing this. This is the, one of the only fragrances I enjoyed wearing when it is like a you know heat wave type of situation. It is fantastic. Now, despite the name of the fragrance being incense, there is no incense in this fragrance at all. This is predominantly a citrus rose perfume. The rose, is more of a dewy, watery rose, kind of in a supporting role, but mainly this is citrus. And to me, this smells as if you had just picked a grapefruit from a market. You smell the skin of the grapefruit. This is what this perfume smells like. It is fantastic. Not the strongest in terms of projection. It has a decent longevity, especially for a citrus perfume, but it is not crazy out there. It is more in line with the longevity of Zara fragrances, but if you're looking for a fresh and really pretty citrus perfume. I find that grapefruit incense from Zara is the best one. Next, we have Elegantly Tokyo. And I will say this is one of the most unique fragrances from Zara. Again, it's not a dupe or a copy of anything. And I just think this is such a magnetizing fragrance. It is a beautiful, beautiful, spicy lily perfume. Oh my goodness, this is incredible. It is elegant. It is feminine, it is so beautiful. I would say if you like possibilities from La Perla or Bouquet Encore from L'Orchestre Parfum, you're probably gonna really enjoy Elegantly Tokyo as well. So stunning. I picture this fragrance, it's giving me like country club vibes, like country club brunch vibes with the family and the kids. This is an elegant, chic fragrance that kind of gives me a little bit of like old money vibes. It is so, so pretty, really beautiful. And I would say this would be great for the springtime because it has that freshness, but also the spiciness of Lily. Stunning perfume from Zara. Next up, I have two celebrity fragrances from Miss Ariana Grande or Mrs. now, I don't know, but Ariana Grande. The first one is the one that you probably know, the most popular one, it is Cloud a dupe for Baccarat Rouge. I personally think not really. It does have a resemblance, but this is not a perfect dupe of Baccarat Rouge. It is different to me. It smells beautiful. Oh, this is so addictive. It, to me, this is a creamier version of Baccarat Rouge. 
there's like a whipped cream vanilla effect in here, but at the same time, it's airy. So that's why I'm saying whipped cream because it's creamy, but it's also airy at the same time and light. So there's kind of that duality in this fragrance, which is super nice. And for some reason, I get a bit of an exotic pina colada feel. Like imagine you are drinking a coconut pina colada cocktail topped with cotton candy as garnish. To me, this is what this fragrance smells like. So it has that candied cotton candy feel, that sweetness, that addictive like sweetness that you would find in a lot of Ariana Grande fragrances. But there is this, I don't know, weird coconut, pineapple exotic vibe that I love in this perfume. And um, yeah, it's addictive, it's long lasting and it's affordable. Yeah, great perfume from Ariana Grande. The next one is God is a Woman and I adore this fragrance. I love to wear this when I'm looking for a fresher, kind of musky fragrance with a little bit of sweetness. If I'm craving the musks with sweetness, this is the one that I will reach out for. And especially, I think this is most adapted for casual, more relaxed settings. It's not a fragrance that is too in your face. It's just one that, you know, perfumes your skin, you smell good, but you're not gonna offend anyone. And I'm not, personally, I'm not a massive fan of the packaging. I do find it to be a little bit tacky and it's not practical. I feel like I'm gonna break this perfume one day if I continue using it this way. But we have this plasticky thingy here and then the purple fragrance bottle, which is quite simple, uh, but you know, the purple's cute, whatever. Um, the scent itself, is a fresh, juicy, musky pear perfume. So you have pear, there's ambrette, and there's some sort of candied sweetness. I wonder if there's vanilla in this, probably. There's a lot of vanilla in Ariana Grande fragrances, but this one to me smells like, almost the sensation I get is really odd. It's as if you were eating crystallized sugar sticks, which is really weird, like the crunchiness of crystallized sugar sticks kind of get that addictive sweetness in there, which I love, but then you have the juiciness and the greenness of pear, which is really, really pretty. And of course, the softness of musk. So very much enjoy this perfume. As I said, if I want something that is musky, but also a little bit sweet. This next fragrance I have repurchased three times. I am obsessed with this fragrance and it will forever be amongst my favorite tea perfumes. It is Thé Vert by Roger Gallet. I just, this, this perfume is the green teas of the green teas. It is magnificent. I would recommend it to you if you like the Eau Parfumé Thé Vert by Bulgari. So those like fresh musky green teas that quite Cologne like, you're gonna adore this one. And certainly this is more of a Cologne type of green tea. You get all the characteristics of the Cologne, a lot of citruses, the zestiness of citruses. So it's very fresh and bright and uplifting. And you have some florals, but then this very clean smelling, delicate green tea with some musks in the background. So I would say this is, yeah, a Cologne green tea with musks. I love to spray this after a shower or a bath. This is another fragrance that I like to spray at night, which is probably why I use so much of it as well. Not long lasting at all. I mean, this is an eau de Cologne. Like an eau de Cologne isn't meant to last forever. It's very fleeting. I don't mind it. This is a fragrance I just like to kind of refresh myself after having taken a bath or shower. So I think for that purpose, it is perfect. And yeah, I would recommend it if you like green tea. Next up, we have Prodigieux Le Parfum by Nux. If you know the Nux body oil, you know what this fragrance is about. Like, if you know, you know. It is basically another summer in a bottle type of fragrance. It is beautiful. The scent is so addictive of that perfume oil and it's been captured in a fragrance spray. Now, let me tell you, if you use the oil and then you spritz this on top, it's, it's a winning combination. You really cannot go wrong and you will smell so good all summer. This is, this to me smells like an expensive tanning lotion or tanning sunscreen. Um, what I mean by this, it's more heavy on the florals so you have some magnolia, there's also some orange blossom, but it's wrapped in a hint of coconut milk and a bit of sweetness. So it's not a coconut dominant uh, fragrance that you would typically find in like 
your, you know, tanning oil type of scents. This is more dominant on the florals with a hint of coconut, which in my opinion makes it more elegant, more sophisticated of a beach type of scent. So beautiful. You're by the beach wearing this fragrance or tanning oil, whatever, watching the sunset. This is what this perfume is about. It is a bronze goddess type of scent. I love to wear this over the summertime. The sillage is beautiful. You literally will embalm an entire room. It smells so good. Wow. And this one, as well as the Thé Vert from Roger Gallet, these two fragrances can be found in pharmacies in France, in Parapharmacie, which is where, by the way, I stock up on these. I will, of course, put all the links to the fragrances uh, in the description box down below to the ones I can find. Um, but yeah, if you're ever in France or if you're based in France, you can find these in Parapharmacie. And finally, my one true love, one of my most worn fragrances ever. I'm almost out of it, Glossier You. This is the ultimate your skin, your clean skin, but better fragrance. It is so beautiful. Oh, I just love this. I love this so much. I'm obsessed with this fragrance. So much so that when the house is clean, I will spritz this in the different rooms, on my bed sheets, on my pillows before going to sleep. There's something that's really calming about this fragrance. I just want to drench myself in this perfume. I don't know if there is like a body wash or like a foam bath with this scent. That would be great to do a foam bath with this perfume. It would be so relaxing. But yeah, love this perfume. It is musky goodness. There's a little bit of that lipsticky feeling as well. So it's a bit powdery without feeling vintage. It feels very modern. Uh, there's some ambrette seeds as well. Touch of fruitiness. It's quite a, dip, depending on the skin, it can be quite a sensual fragrance. It can really warm up to your skin. And I've said this multiple times on my channel, the smell on different people will be very drastic because all fragrances will react to the skin chemistry in a different way. But this one, the changes are more drastic than other fragrances I find, which is great because on me, it smells fresher, muskier, and like on a friend of mine, it was more sweet and a little bit more balmy, which is cool, I think. But yeah, Glossier You, fabulous, affordable, musky, clean scent. If you want to smell clean and musky, this is the one to go for. And that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I would love to know what are your best cheapy fragrances not necessarily dupes of more expensive perfumes. I'm curious to see what you have in your collection. Please let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.